Naomi, how are you? I'm great, thanks for asking. <laughs> Tell me, how do you feel about this film being nominated tonight? It's a super exciting thing. I mean, you know, it's it's an honor, definitely, and um, there's a lot of talent in this. So, you know, whoever wins, I'm, you know, they're all amazing people. So, just crossing my fingers, but at the same time, congratulating anyone who wins. Take me back, Fatima. The storyline behind Gurufu. What's it all about for the audience who don't know what it's about? What can we expect? Okay, um, it's kind of a depressing film, sort of, but at the same time. It, you, it takes you through a wave of emotions. There's laughing, there's crying, there's, you know, a little bit of everything. But basically it's about a really, really deranged, depressed man and um, he's, he, it turns out he's suicidal and he's a drug addict um, and he smokes way too much. And his sister, who seems like she comes from a perfect family, turns out she needs some help uh, to have her brother babysit her daughter, his niece. Um, so he comes over to babysit her. And, you know, we go on this little journey together. I play the niece and uh, Sean Christensen, he's the director as well as the writer. And he also is acting as uh, the main character. Um, he takes me on this kind of little journey together. And by the end, we're pretty bonded. And um, it's, it's about redemption and how, you know, it's possible to get back on your feet after, you know, being down for a long time. How did you feel when you got this gig? Um, it was pretty uh, interesting and actually pretty exciting too because it seemed like a great project and um, you know I, when I went over to Sean's house we actually did some script reading together and um, he seemed like a really cool guy and we we actually Sean wasn't thinking of it as like a big you know Oscar film he was just kind of doing it with this crew that he'd been working with for a while kind of like a family film with you know professional actors or whatever so when it got all this buzz, we were kind of like, wow, we ought to put this in festivals. And Sean only wanted to put in like one or two, which neither of them would have had anything to do with the Oscars, but um, his producers, uh, you know, pushed him to put it in uh, Tribeca and, you know, and they really, really liked it. And apparently they liked it enough to give us an Oscar. Tell me, how was it working with Sean Christensen? Tell me about that. He is amazing. I, I love him so much and he's super sweet, but at the same time he's like, you know, mysterious. And at the same time he's, he's amazingly artistic and he's super creative and he has these visions that I don't think anyone else thinks about. I think he's a definitely up and coming director and he has a long career ahead of him. I mean, he's he's great. I love him. Congratulations, by the way, on the big win. Recently, the film got an Oscar. How did you feel when you were there? It was incredible. It was kind of like a dream. I mean, we weren't expecting it, but at the same time, we were hoping for it and um, screaming, crying, you know, tears of joy, though, because like we we put a lot of hard work into it, and um, but at the same time it was like super fun hard work, so it was kind of, you know, it was great. And um, that feeling of just like the relief because, you know, we had to wait through a long part of the show. We were one of the last segments, so, you know, just sitting there and trembling and, you know, feeling the nerves come to us and then finally just opening the envelope and seeing curfew. We couldn't believe it. We were, we were ecstatic. It was, it was a great day. Lastly, give, if you had to give one piece of advice for an aspiring actor, what would it be? Um, first of all, education is definitely the most important thing. Um, you know, people can take away your work, you know, your money, your home, everything, but they can never take away the education that you've gotten since you're little. And, you know, also never give up because I've felt like, you know, oh, these auditions are great and then, you know, I get disappointed because someone else gets it. I mean, of course, I'm happy for them, but it's disappointing because it's like, you know, I've been trying so hard and there's nothing coming. There are these little things and then they eventually become huge things and they just push you over the edge. So never give up because it'll come someday when it's, when it's right. Thanks for watching. I'm Fatima Patacek and you're watching Spotlight with Joanna Luna.